In today's episode, we're going to unbox a Coco Bolo Gibson practice channel. Stay tuned. Well, hello, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper, and on this channel, I make videos to make you a stronger and more confident piper. If you like this kind of content, please think about giving the video a like, subscribing to the channel, and hitting that bell icon to be notified of when I post new videos. I also teach Skype and online lessons if you want more personalized instruction, but more on that later. All right, in this box is a product I've wanted to try for quite some time. This is a Gibson Coco Bolo Long Practice Channer. So, a channer that's been featured in many of my videos over the years is my 2001 McClellan Coco Bolo Chanter, but I was aware of all this time Gibson also had a Coco Bolo Chanter, but I didn't need two. But uh, my good friend and student, Mr. Jason Michael, has ordered a Gibson Long Coco Bolo Chanter, and we're going to unbox this today and uh, see how it goes. All right, here goes nothing. We're coming in. Well packaged inside. Got lots of wrapping. Got those down there. Here we go. Here is the chanter in question. All right, let's get into the business. Nice, lovely, lighter colored wood here. And let's see what's going on with the sole. And a lovely imitation ivory sole on this. So, all right, that looks great. And it comes with a reed. Wow, that is a really stubby reed on top. I'm used to them being a little longer than this. So the holes are nicely chamfered on the edge. They are not counter bored like this old McClellan. But to be honest, I don't know anybody that does this at this time. So uh, this is still nice. You can feel the holes readily under the fingers. Let's see how it goes. To my ear, these are very similar sounds. I love the warmth you get out of a Coco Bolo Channer. I was curious if this was a standalone, like, hmm, is this one of a kind? Apparently not. So the top is fully made out of plastic, which is just fine. It doesn't match, but this is going to darken over time. I'll tell you right now, when this was new, it was right about this same color. So over, I don't know, 21 years now, this one has darkened quite a lot um, from its initial shade. So I bet in another 10, 15, 20 years, these will be much closer to the same color. And it's very smooth. It's very well finished throughout. I'm quite pleased. This is a great channer. And there'll be a few beauty shots of this channer at the end of the video, so stay tuned for a few photos of this guy. If you want a practice channer that sounds a little bit more like a musical instrument and a little less like a duck, you may well want to look into the Gibson Coco Bolo Long Chanter. I think Coco Bolo is a wonderful material for practice channers, and who knows, maybe um, we can get more folks, more pipe makers making practice channers out of this fine material. There you go, everybody, an unboxing, playtest, and review of the Gibson Coco Bolo Long Practice Channer. If you enjoyed this video, please think about giving it a like, subscribing to the channel, and hitting that bell icon to be notified of when I post new videos. If you wanted to help support the channel, you can head over to my Patreon, and a special shout out to Ms. Carrie Tresick and Mr. Mike Dingus, my number one supporters. You'll see names now, folks. Scrolling up, these are folks that support the channel monthly. I'd love to add your name to this list. You often get early access to videos and other perks, so go check out the Patreon. I also teach Skype and online lessons. Go ahead and head over to www.commandyourbagpipe.com or email me at the address you see here, and we'll get you going. I'm working with folks from all over the planet, and I hope to work with you soon. 
I also have a line of commands, your bagpipe, and the new prescription bagpipe, like this wonderful mug right here. There's mugs and t-shirts, hoodies, hats, all sorts of things. Head over to the merch store and let the world know that you have a prescription for your bagpipe addiction. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Stick around for just a few photos of this lovely instrument. But until next time, I'm Matt Willis. Cheers.